hello there, it's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee. Now, today I'm making a muffler. Now I know, it's sweltering here, it really is. But the thing about this fur is it makes quite a mess, so I want to get all the jobs done at once. Yeah? It makes sense to me, honestly. You should see my trousers, I can literally... Yeah. Um, so what I've done is I've cut out a square and it's got to be big enough for both of the hands to, to put in around the front and um, no longer than the length of um, between the elbow. So yeah, so we're going for basically that. So and that should be nice. Any bigger, be silly. Any smaller, they yeah, wouldn't be able to put their hands in it. Uh, now I've taken the measurements off. Okay, I combine the measurements between Mother Care and their sizes and um, the British wool industry, so their sizes. And obviously knitted clothes are a bit stretchy, so you know, you don't have to worry too much. Now to attach it to the child, I'm going to make a strap, a folded over of the lining. Now this needs to be bigger than their head so that they can get it on. And well, according to this, these sheets, um, the head is two inches smaller than an adult. Yeah, it doesn't grow much, so <laughs> trust me. I've used my own head as a measurement. Now, what I'm doing now is, so that I can turn this tube inside out, I'm literally just putting a bit of string in the center, and this will help, it really will. So let me just squeeze down here. Now I do want it slightly puckered. I'm, because mufflers are pretty much um, an old style clothing, I do want it sort of puckered and vintage looking. an inch before the end and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this inch and I'm going to fold it over the top and then I'm just going to pull this to a manageable length okay and with my knitting needle which I have I haven't buried it I can then just push this through so oh there it is I have buried it isn't it terrible and um, it just makes it a bit more manageable, a bit easier to do. You know, if you just pulled the string, what will happen is you'll get it in a, to a little knot and um, you wouldn't be able to pull it, you'll just pull the string out. So, you know, we need it fairly loose. And then I'm just going to literally push it through, not in big amounts, but in little sort of clumps. I'm going to push through. Um, with the knitting needle and if it does get jammed then what I have to do is just pick it out slightly and then probably when I'm halfway through maybe even just towards the end we can pull it all out with our piece of string it's quite rewarding but it does help the knitting needle helps lots as well and if you don't have a piece of string or a knitting needle then you literally you just have to sort of pick it out by hand okay so I'm gonna get that off camera and move on to the next thing so I have my fur here and I have my lining and what I want to do is I want to sew along one edge so this is the long edge this is the the, the, the the end that turns I'm going to place it in my machine and use a couple of stitches just to hold it there and then I'm just going to sweep off as much as the fur as I can underneath so it makes it so it sort of holds it That's not complicated, one full line along the long side. Now the other side, again, 
I'm going to put it under the machine, a couple of stitches, and then I'm going to swoosh excess fluff in. Oh, my lining caught up in my foot, which happens. Could be a lot worse, couldn't it? There we go. But on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop so that I can turn it inside out, okay? Now I'm going to take the two ends of lining so that I'm going to sew the right side to the right side. So what I need to do is sort of push the fur out of the way and then I need to take my lining here and my lining here and then I'm going to sew it together. And it does go, it just looks a bit well, cack-handed. So once it's lined up at this end, a couple of securing stitches and then I can get it all straight at the other end. So. It's all good. Now we're not actually using any material that frays, so it's all okay. Lovely. Now I have my bobbin thread caught around my foot again. And now what I want to do is sort of untuck it so that I can sew the right side to the right side of the top of the muffler and tucked into that I want to put my strap in. Now I don't want it on the lining so I just want it so it's, it's in between the lining and the fur. Now I'm going to line this up, make sure the lining's not caught in there because otherwise I won't be able to turn it inside out and the lining will show through on the actual muffler. And I'm going to measure um, how far I've got this strap in. So I've put the strap in an inch. I can continue to sew along the top of the muffler. And there we are, I've got my strap and then an inch from the end. So. There we are. And fingers crossed, we can now turn it inside out. So we want the fur on the outside and the lining on the inside. It's not happening, is it? Okay. I did wonder if I was doing a bit too cheeky. What I'm going to do is just unpop these stitches. Because, basically... Yeah, it, there, there's no place for it to go. And what I'm going to do, rather than have it turned inside out, I'm going to have to place the lining in myself, which is fine. So, and then I can put the lining back in there and then run a few stitches. Now if you are top stitching fur, what I would recommend is that you keep the fur side up because if you get fur caught up in your foot then we will, you will have to take it, well you can just take it out, you know you can buy another one 
um, you can probably unpick it a bit easier. But if you get all this fluff caught up in the gubbins of your machine, then you're going to have to take it to an engineer and, you know, it's going to cost more money and it's you're going to be without a machine for a while. So, there we go. <laughs> and, um, yes. All I need to do now is fold that over and fold that over and then I'm well away. And this time, I've got the lining on the inside and I've got the outside as my fluffy muffler. So what I've got now is I've got loads of fluff put up in my um, foot, so I'm just going to literally take the whole thing out of the machine and then I can just put it back in again once I'm clear. last little bit and I know you can't see anything you can just see me warring with bits of fur fabric push that in there I'm just going to take it out again this time I think I might need to take the foot with me as well Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, so it's it would be quite easy to cut it out with a pair of nail scissors, or I can probably pull it out the way it came. But I really wouldn't want to have to take the machine apart and, and pull it out. we go. So, still attached with a couple of threads. <laughs> oh no, that is terrible. And I'll just put the foot back on. And we've got that much to do. Isn't that terrible? And the fur naturally um, sort of bends round. You know, as fabrics go, it's a very pliable fabric to sew. So there we are. That's the last bit done. So there we have our muffler. And um, yes, and um, not a very slick video, I must admit, but um, it's done now. Alright, thank you ever so much for watching and being so patient with me. My name's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee.